Well, that just about wraps up this week. I'm just going to conclude with a few brief remarks on first order languages in general. We saw in the second lecture that there's no in principle limit on the arity of a predicate. There we considered the slightly large and unwieldy gave with arity four, which takes four arguments in the form of, for instance, A gave money to B at time T. And we could make these even more complex if we wanted to, but usually we don't. And at least for the purposes of this course, we're not going to see generally any predicates with higher than arity four. So don't worry, that's the first point. The second point is that that the predicates we've been considering have been mostly drawn from the textbook and have been kind of out of the box, so to speak. Predicates like Q, which takes one argument, or left of, which takes two, and so on. But there's nothing in principle to prevent us from creating our own predicates to express whatever we like. Let's try that now. Let's try a predicate like knows. Now it seems natural to treat this as a two-place predicate. You would say A knows B, right? So A and B are friends, or at least they know each other. But we could also make this more specific. For instance, you know me, so knows Bo is an option that you could use to construct your language. The problem is that if you construct predicates like this in this much more specific way, they aren't very versatile. So suppose you want further to say that A knows each of the TAs. You'd have to construct new predicates, knows Rory, and knows Martin. And this would make our language needlessly complicated. Now the general division between constants and predicates is that constants correspond with objects, whereas predicates correspond to concepts, which apply to objects. This is just a general remark, and you don't need to worry too much about it. It's just the reason why, for instance, we can't have a concept picked out by a constant term like tall. There's no such thing as a tall. Tallness as a concept picked out by a predicate applies to certain objects picked out by constants, which is why we can say A is tall, but we can't just say there's a tall. It's ungrammatical in English, and it doesn't work on our logic. You don't need to worry too much about this point, because grammatically English works much the same way. You don't say there is a tall, you say there is a tall person, and what you're saying is that the predicate tall applies to the person as an object. That wraps up week two. If you have any questions, of course, just let me know in the comments or on Piazza, and otherwise, I'll see you in week three.